Tavern keeper. I see you're back. Can I pour you something this time? I'm looking for my cousin. His name is Constantine. I believe he was intent on celebrating his departure last night. There was indeed a party here last night, but it ended badly. Whatever do you mean? A brawl broke out. My tavern was shattered, and no one's paid for the damages. I'm sorry. Amongst the rebel rousers, did there happen to be a young man? 20 years of age, hair down to his neck, light brown, blue eyes, quite the talker. I don't believe it. Of course he was there. He's the man that started the fight. I hope you've come to reimburse me. Don't count on me to help you if that's not the case. <sighs> what kind of damage are we talking about exactly? A good half of my furniture was broken into firewood. I piled up the lot over there. Let me take a look. Perhaps it can be repaired. If you can fix it, I'll be obliged. If not, you'll need to pay. <sighs> That's not a small sum. I need to think about my options. Oh, the father has forgotten to give his son his allowance, it would seem. I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. The furniture is in terrible condition. The fight must have been extremely violent. It looks as if it's fixable. I've seen worse. We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like new. And there you have it. You'd never guess they were once broken. Well then, were you able to repair it all? Yes, just like new. Or nearly. That does indeed look like fine work. You know what you're doing. I would hope. Can you tell me where I can find my cousin now? <laughs> Your cousin is either a very bad joker or a right good fool. He went and insulted a band of ruffians from the lower boroughs. Dangerous fellows. They've a storehouse they operate out of a few streets from here. What kind of business do they run? Several, actually, and they're all illegal and profitable. But you didn't hear that from me. In any case, if you were set on recovering your cousin, I would hurry if I were you. They're not the tender sorts. Thank you for the information. Off with ya.
Get him out of whatever mess he's got himself into. Seemed like a courageous fellow. Who could down his pint? Anything else? I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. Vulture of a tavern master was right. It is Constantine's voice. It's coming from the floor above. It sounds as if he's locked up. And I have a feeling they're expecting company. Be careful. The slightest itchy word to these brutes will have them drawing blades to scratch it. Negotiation may be the solution. As you say, this breed of brutes won't spit on ransom money. What a waste. I'd rather sneak around them than give half a coin to these seedy fellows. posters we posted, someone with deep pockets will show up sooner or later to liberate the rooster. He's making a great deal of noise. We could knock him out or gag him. Well, this has been monumentous, gentlemen, but I have more important things to attend to. An island to govern, treaties to sign, riches to expedite, and a demanding father to impress! Constantine, it's me! My dear cousin! Oh, my lucky star! Always there to pull me out of my fires. Well, I'll do what I can. We're departing soon. Your father wasn't pleased by your absence this morning. Have you ever seen him happy about anything when it comes to me? You know what he thinks of me. He cares about you. I know that. He appointed you governor, didn't he? He is ridding himself of a source of constant disappointment. <sighs> Enough said. Today, we set sail for adventure. How these 
these river scum treated me. Do me a courtesy, good cousin. Now that we stand boldly alongside the brave Kurt, let's give them their money's worth. There's no one left to pay, your highness. The brave Kurt and your cousin have already settled the books. Really now? What a shame. I would have loved to have seen that. We've nothing left to do then than to board our ship. An adventure awaits us at the end of the street. any idea how to get in there without being noticed let's take a look around the building we might find a less conspicuous entrance where is the manifest to be found i've already been to the port authorities they keep the official documents upstairs Here's the ship's manifest. We only need to add our merchandise to the list. If you wore a nought uniform and you were able to keep your mark hidden from them, 
might let us in, unless we just offered them a drink. These sailors rarely refuse one. I see where this is headed. If we drop a little soporific in their glasses, the way will be clear. I'll just need to find the proper ingredients, but it's doable. Hello? What can I do for you? We're the relay. You're dismissed. Finally! We were starting to grow moss. Courage, me hearties. The path is clear. We should notify the men. They need all the time they can get. Captain, sir, we were given orders to wait here with the merchandise. The way is clear. It's time to get going. Do your best to be quick and quiet about it. You won't have much time to move it. Don't you be worrying now. We're off. The warehouse is at the end to the right there. You can't miss it. Move out. Quick steps. Are you the smuggler? You snuck yourself in here just to ask me that question? If this is some sort of trick to get me to admit to some crime, you are truly twisted. You can see for yourself that I'm no naught. Come now. Are you the one I'm looking for? I'm already locked up. What more do I risk? Yes, I am a smuggler. <laughs> but I'm not the only one in this city. I'm searching for a couple fleeing to Leme. They're trying to leave the city discreetly. Have they contacted you? You certainly can't imagine I'm going to answer you without getting something in exchange. I don't really think of my clients as kin, but I'd never betray any of them for free. 
A real saint you are. How about your freedom in exchange for your loyalty? Tell me where I can find them and I'll open this cage. That works for me. Your two Telemites are hidden in a warehouse behind this very prison. They must be waiting for me. But you might want to be quick about it. If the Norts get their hands on them, they'll find themselves in this same cage. Thank you. Anytime. And these doors? You're gonna open them, right? Thank you, my lord. And don't worry about me. I'll slip outside without being seen. The Illuminated save us. Did the smuggler send you? The man to which you are referring was arrested and thrown into prison, but revealed to me your hiding place. Oh, the traitor! Have you come to deliver us to the Inquisition then? Please, please, have pity on our souls. We have committed no crime. We are not heretics. We are nothing more than historians. In that case, why is the ambassador of Teleme so concerned about your teachings? Why is the Inquisition looking for you, and why are you hiding? Our only error was wanting to publish our work. It's true. We presented our research, but it didn't please the censor. And here you have the result. We fled all the way to Serene, thinking we would be safe. But the Inquisition wants to silence us so badly that they followed us here. Tell me more about your research. What about it is so horrifying that it would provoke such a fuss? Our work concerned the teachings of St. Lucius. The disciple of St. Matthias. The one who returned to Teleme after traveling with his master. The very same. His writing was carefully preserved, but never seriously studied. With the discovery of Tirfredi, we thought it crucial to take a look at the original text. We wanted to verify if this island could have been the faraway place that he spoke of. The Eden of St. Matthias. And? What did you find? Teofredi is without any doubt the land that our St. Matthias and his disciples went to. But the text that we discovered was radically different from what we expected to find. In the original text, St. Lucius doesn't speak of an Eden, of the paradise of the illuminated. He speaks of a voice that came from the depths of the earth, which convinced St. Matthias to stay there. It was written in black and white, and there is no doubt about it. The original was written in Lucius's own hand. I understand now what that text has cost you. This voice from the depths sounds more the power of a demon than a saint. The sacred texts are always difficult to interpret, but what is written, is written. Who were you hoping would give you asylum? We were hoping to reach Al Saad. The Inquisition won't chase us into the den of their enemies. Our research won't interest the Bridge Alliance, or at least I doubt it. But at least we'll be safe. By entering Al Saad as clandestines, you risk being taken for spies. That would be better than being burned at the stake. Did you try speaking with the censors? You could forget what you have discovered, perhaps. Oh, we have signed already an abjugation stating that we misunderstood the sacred texts of St. Lucius. We were even ready to say that we had never seen the true text or anything else that would have pleased them. It served no purpose. It's our lives they are after. I see. Well, you have no other choice but to run and seek refuge in enemy territories. I beg of you, please do not deliver us to them. Let us continue on this path. 
I could have a word with the good Dr. Sahi, the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. If he can be persuaded to offer you asylum, you would be saved. Your goodness honors you. May the Illuminated forever light your path. If I manage to convince the ambassador, you'll need to refrain from that sort of blessing. Stay here. I'll be back. Your Excellency, Lord de Sade. I would like to talk to you about a rather delicate matter. I am listening. A couple of historians have made a recent discovery concerning Mateus, the founder of the mythical Teleme. And it seems that this is not to the liking of the Illuminated, or at least his more fervent subjects. These sinister hypocrites are going to want to burn them at the stake. Without a doubt. And that's why these poor people are begging you to offer them asylum. I would volunteer and consent to take them under my protection. But one good deed deserves another. You would like me to first take care of your charlatan? You will certainly prove to be an excellent legate. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But, as I'm in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But, if it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. Come on now, I saw you tear that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. Are there any nasty side effects with this remedy of yours? There are none. You will feel nothing but an intense sense of well-being. I happen to have a vial of your medicine. 
Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk? This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it. You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief. Come now. You can see for yourself that I'm gladly returning your vial so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts, as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I... You don't have the right! Damnation. He got away. He can't have gone far. Find him before his head ends up on a spike. Search his things. He went to the room at the tavern. Let's go and have a look. He won't be leaving the city without bringing his belongings along. You again? What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that has found you. Have you seen the mob that is gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance Ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce, and he is the one who sent me. Sahin? Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am. Playing the part of the potion maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of Al Saad. Why does Sahin bear you such hatred? I wasn't fortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy, to criticize their methodology. I saw them inflicting torture on sick prisoners, making them drink the most vile poisons. To find a remedy to the Malachor, they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned Sahin's hatred. Are you not ashamed to have poisoned those poor souls? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. But you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? Oh, you don't understand. I fled, but I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is an attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the Malachor. So you manipulate people to use this experimental fodder? That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice, but it does not harm them, I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case, but a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk.
Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps, but you're hurting innocents. I cannot let your commerce continue. So, what are you going to do with me, sir? I'm going to help you leave the city, but you must promise never to return. I swear it. Very well, then. I need to first get you away from those who want to see you hanged. If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting. Please listen, I beg you. If you want him to reimburse you, get in the back of the line like everyone else. Believe me, I understand why you're angry. Me? It's not money I want. That charlatan tried to poison us. I couldn't give a flying pile of dung for your pretty words. We're gonna hang him high. And you too, if you're an accomplice. How absurd. I'm the one who put an end to his operation. Well, in that case, help us catch him so he can be punished like he deserves. He's trapped. He'll have to come out someday, you'll see. I can procure you some excellent potions, as long as you promise to put an end to this. True potions of healing like those you thought you were buying. Why are you some sort of alchemist, then? I hope you're not the same feather as the other. If that's the case, we have enough rope to hang the both of them! Trust me. I swear that each and every one of you will receive one. Ugh, our trust was already given. We're going nowhere without seeing a merchandise. Such a large number of potions. This story's gonna cost you a fortune. These vials could be lying around anywhere. I need to keep my eyes peeled. Locked. Locked. Let's go and find the alchemist. We need to get him out of here as fast as we can. So? Did you find a way to get me out of this hornet's nest? Yes. I need to get you out of here. I have unlocked the service entrance. You will be able to sneak out of there discreetly. Without being skinned alive by the mob? You need to remain prudent. I will escort you to your cart. I follow you. Let's sneak out the back. I hope we don't run into any unhappy patients. customers and we have no choice but to go this way
My cart, finally. I owe you my life. How can I ever thank you? Just do us the favor of never coming back. And stop this deceitful commerce. Have no worries about that. I'm not going to forget this lesson anytime soon. Move along now. Get out of here while there's still time. Would you accept this as a token of my gratitude? Farewell, my lord. <laughs>